the Almighty answers the question as to why are we expected to fast during the month when the Quran began to be revealed. The Almighty says, وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا حَدَاكُمْ So that you glorify God on the guidance that He has provided you with. How do we glorify God by fasting? Well, we fast and we are hungry and thirsty and yet we don't go for these resources that are available at our disposal to quench our thirst, to satisfy ourselves and remove our hunger simply because that's what God has asked us to do. So when we do this exercise during the daytime, we are through our personal example, through our conduct, we are making a firm, silent, but firm statement. God is great. He has control over everything. He can ask us to do anything. And we are announcing through our attitude, through our uh, ritual of going through fasting, that God is the greatest. And we also been asked to fast during the month of Ramadan so that we thank God. We thank Him for giving us this exceptionally important gift of the Quran. We are thankful to God during the month of Ramadan because we fast and we are hungry and thirsty and as a consequence we realize how important food and drink are and then we when we break fast, we do iftar, we are thankful to God. So this inclination to be thankful is something that we experience every evening during the month of Ramadan and that helps us in being thankful to God. Why do we fast? Quran has answered this question itself as I have been mentioning the fact that Quran answers questions that come to one's mind. So the Quran mentions in verse 183 of chapter 2 Ya yuhal lazina amanu Believers Kutiba alaykum usayam Fasting has been prescribed for you made obligatory for you Kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum Like it was made, made obligatory for those who came before you La'allakum tattakun so that you may become God conscious. What is God consciousness? God consciousness is the attitude of an individual wherein he behaves in a manner that is always considering the reality that God is there looking at him and he has to be accountable to him and therefore he cannot cross the boundaries and limits set forth by the Almighty. So, we are expected to learn God consciousness during the month of Ramadan when we fast. But what is the relationship between fasting and God consciousness? Well, the answer is that when from dawn till dusk, we deprive ourselves of our natural needs of uh, food, drink and legitimate sex, simply because the Almighty has required us to do so. And this happens for 29, 30 days running. If somebody has gone through such a training program, it's uh, expected of him or her that uh, the individual would ordinarily in other days stay away from what is evil and what is not expected to be done all throughout the year. So fasting enables us to become God conscious. The question is that this exercise of God consciousness could have been required to be undertaken in any month of the year. But why particularly Ramadan? The Quran answers this question too. In verse 185 of the same chapter, Al-Baqarah, the second chapter, the Quran says, Shahru Ramadan al-lazi unzila fihil Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month when the Quran was revealed. That is, we fast during the month of Ramadan because in this month the Quran was revealed. It began to be revealed. The Quran goes on to say, 
Hudallin Nas. You know what the Quran is? It's a guidance for the mankind. Mankind was looking for answers to some exceptionally important questions. Who made us? Why were we made? What are we expected to do? Why is there good and evil? Why is it that there are some people who are exceptionally rich, some exceptionally poor, etc. And why do we die? And what is going to happen after death? All these questions are answered by the Quran and therefore the Quran is Nas. It's a guidance for the mankind. And the guidance is very clear. The verses that help us understand the reality of this life and what we're expected to do most clearly. Well, for Quran. And it is a criterion. It distinguishes most clearly between what is right and what is wrong. Now let's move on. This month of Ramadan is also known for the inclination towards charity that believers have in them. It's a month of charity as well. Many Muslims, they take out their annual zakat on this particular month. And many other non-obligatory charity is also done in this month. Why? Because when you are hungry and thirsty, you are able to imagine what poor people must be going through when they are hungry and thirsty. We always have a very strong hope that we will break our fast and be able to overcome the difficulty that we are enduring during the time of fasting. But uh, there are many people who are poor, who don't have food to eat and drink, and uh, they're deprived. So we think of them, we empathize with them, and are as a consequence inclined to spend on them. The month of Ramadan also happens to be the month of repentance. During this month, we completely change our lifestyle. We do not eat in the normal hours when we are normally used to eating. Our sleeping times also sometimes change. People, generally speaking, become more inclined towards religion. The houses of worship, masajid, mosques, they are filled by a far greater number of devotees than what happens during the other 11 months. So the atmosphere is all geared up for a person to be inclined towards God. And therefore, it's an extremely important God-given opportunity that we get every year to seek His forgiveness. Because while we are in the normal flow of life, there's always this tendency of forgetting of ignoring religion, of being more obsessed and involved with worldly matters. But in comes Ramzan and it as if puts a check, a stop to what we have been doing earlier. And we are asked to be inclined towards seeking forgiveness from the Almighty for the wrongs we had done in the past and asking Him to enable us to not repeat our evil acts in the future. So it's a brilliant opportunity for all believers to seek God's repentance. That is why it is said in what hadith? Man sama ramadana imanam wa ihtisaban ghufira lahuma taqaddama min zambi. Whoever fasts with true faith and with a sense of accountability, he is going to be forgiven the sins that he did in the past. So, believing in God, we seek his forgiveness and uh, this happens in this brilliant month.